mind, what do you think we need to do today? Where should we go? What should our objective be? And remember, when we, when we do our objectives, you just always want to ask yourself, what have we done? What does that mean we should maybe do today? And always keeping in mind where we have to go. What should we do? And what's maybe next steps? Where the goal? What happens to them, right? We know that, do we know something happens to them? Yeah. And, and do they remain in the digestive system uh -huh. by the end? Yeah. How, how do we know that? Let's see the evidence. Yeah, cool. Oh. fiber and water, right? But we, uh, but maybe we have no evidence for what happened to it. It's just gone, right? So we kind of want to know. How, how could we, what could we do? What could, what could we look at to kind of know what exactly is going on in these food models? What are some possibilities of things we could do? <coughs> Cracker, where? And small intestine. And we're trying to figure out like what happens to some of these things. The starch seems to just disappear, or it's not there. And we know that it can't go across the wall of the small intestine. At other body parts? How about the whole digestive system? Okay, so um, students will be able to uh, investigate amounts of food particles food molecules in all organs of the digestive system. If we're going to do objectives, the purpose of objectives is to, is to let students know what's going on and what, and what they're going to be engaging in. So why not have the students do it? I mean, it makes absolute sense. Um, I think in the past I wouldn't be able to do it prior to, to Open Syed. I wouldn't be able to do that because the objectives always were created by me, ended up being academic language. Um, and I was the one who knew what was coming next because I was the one who was uh, determining um, the path that we were taking. Um, so I think creating the objective with the students in this way um, is the, I think the reason why it works so well with Open Syed and how it aligns with it 
is because it's all about student ownership, right? The learning is uh, student driven. Um, the discovery is student driven. They're doing the heavy lifting. Um, and so the objective should be written by them. If they're the ones that are doing the heavy lifting, they're the ones who should be saying where we're going. Um, and so it's that student ownership piece, I think, that really makes the two processes align very well.